Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fairly big haul for you with lots of goodies, so let's go straight into it. The planner accessories and planners will go first and then we'll get into the stickers. All the timestamps will be listed below. So might as well quickly show you that I got a new Foxy fix. This was a single couture um, order, so I've never gotten a single before, but that's what it looks like on the side. It just has a single strap, and I got the sugar leather in chocolate cherry. And I've already set it up, obviously, because I had to get into it. But I'll get into more of the specifics. kind of not liking that lump, so I'm going to take that out. Because um, it's a soft leather. <laughs> But uh, this is yet yeah, the chocolate cherry leather in basic size. I've got light pink stitching and this um, the singles come with this pen strap and then the elastics I got were um, vintage pink which is I think E3. So show you close up. I think that oh, hopefully it's not too washed out. <laughs> Sorry about that but I think that turned out super cute. I know Holly Plans always says get light pink with chocolate cherry because it brings out more of the sort of pink red tones in the leather. So it's a really nice rich chocolate on the front and on the inside it is this gorgeous burgundy color. I've already, I just got a normal single. It just had one strap. No extras, no pockets or anything. I just stuck in a Target dollar spot pocket and I cut open the side which I think paper princess plans did so I can just have like Stick everything in there. I think it looks super cute. I also got I also got dashboards from Foxy Fix as well. I bought these separate to the Foxy but I found that the single with no add-ons was like much much faster to order. It came in super fast. I didn't really track it this time. Um, but yeah, it came in super fast and I just put in a jump band. So you can see there how the jump band works. Except it's kind of gone under. There we go. You kind of just put the jump band through the middle of the single and you can get three in there very easily. So that was the planner. I really really love it as you can tell I mean I moved him right away oh I should say I got a rose gold moon um, embossed on the side and then with it I got this notebook um, I don't remember purchasing it maybe it just comes with it but it's just a simple dot grid on the inside again focus on that but yeah just a simple dark red notebook and this is the sampler I got. It was Lush Lipstick. Really soft and floppy. A really bright red as well. Makes me think of like Russian red from MAC. But anyway, that is my Foxy Fix order and I love it. I've just been wanting chocolate cherry for so long. And I just finally bit the bullet and got it in B6. So yeah, that's my Foxy Fix order. The next item I got, I actually bought off the Pen Gems um, Buy, Sell, Trade Facebook group. It's like an official one, so you kind of go to vet your account through them, like your actual account on Pen Gems to be able to join the group. So I think it's a lot safer to purchase from. And I missed out on a little black dress or LBD, of course I did, because it, they come up at like 4.30 a.m. Uh, and they sell out very quickly. But I was able to find one for probably the most reasonable price that I could find. Um, don't ask me how much I bought it for, but this is just, I had to get it. It's like the ultimate pen that I want. I love it. It's all black. It's like a shine black as well, including the um, hardware. It's a beautiful shiny black. You got a black crystal on the top and black crystals inside. It's just oh, it's gorgeous. It's so sleek, gorgeous. I'm so happy to have this. I don't mind missing any other pen gem from now on. I've got I got the black one, so I'm super happy. So that is 
little black dress and if you're, you've missed out on a lot of pens definitely go check out the BST group on Facebook. It's pretty awesome. Next item I have is the Simply Gilded January box which is the bunny box and we'll get straight into it. It comes in this uh, pretty box. I guess you could save the um, designs if you want. I don't know, I haven't saved any of the other boxes. I just, I'm not really into the boxes to be honest. Like, it's cute. Not very practical. I just, it's just too big for me to keep. So this is the Somebody Loves You January box. So you get a journaling card, five washi tapes, uh, a pocket tea and insert, a paperclip trio, bunny seals, necklace, and uh, stickers. So let's get straight. We'll do the washi last. I haven't opened them because I don't know if I'm going to keep them yet. Uh, but let's have a look at these stickers first. You get this big sheet of stickers. And it just has like this little backing. So the stickers are pretty thick. They're like um, almost a cardboardy kind of sticker. And they're all professionally foiled, so it's a commercially made sticker, I believe. Uh, which is obviously easier <laughs> to like manufacture on a big scale. We have a whole bunch of bunny deco and like terrariums and a perfume. I say simply gilded. Then you have like today like um, really pretty uh, headers there. They're thicker than the usual headers, but they might be cute in sidebars and things. You got flags, and you got three uh, full boxes here with just sort of a bunny theme and this is all in rose gold and the other stickers you got were these seals so they're supposed to like use seal packages and things with them and she just gave us a whole roll of them these are actually gold not rose gold we have a whole bunch of different bunnies each one is different very cute so you can like do a whole bunch of things with these, although I'm sure lots of people are hoarding them. Then there's the journaling card that says lovely and has the bunny. Really, really cute. My lighting is a bit off today, sorry about that. But it's just rose gold. Then I there's a set of paper clips. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic. So these are rose gold paper clips. You have a bunny, a book, and two bows. Those are cute, really, really different. And they're just like that on the back. So I think those would be really adorable. They're really thick and high quality rose gold as well. So that would be really nice. Be good to put in a TN. I can't put get that back in, but those are the paper clips. Uh, then you get the pocket insert, so you just get the rose gold bow in the front and the bunny, it's really pretty pink, it's a good quality insert, it is sewn on the side, sewn bound, inside it's just the dot grid, it's a thinner paper but it's still pretty nice. Then you have the necklace, and she did actually have like an error with the necklaces. You know, everyone was supposed to get a rose gold, and I'm one of the few that got a silver by mistake. Let's have a look at the necklace. So I don't mind getting a silver. I was actually thinking like I would probably prefer the silver in terms of what I usually wear. So here's the focus. Here we go. Here's the silver necklace and it's like a little bow knot. Uh, it's got a knot bow sort of thing. And it's just attached on both sides. Really pretty. It's just got a long chain. And on the other end of the chain is like it has that stick through kind of thing. <laughs> That's how it like attaches. And then you have this heart that just says simply gilded established 2015. So that was the necklace, but yeah, so 
I think she was offering exchanges if people wanted the rose gold. So I suppose you would have to like send this silver one back to her. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I think it's fine. I like the silver and I don't, I would have minded the, I would have been okay with the gold and the silver, but the rose gold, I don't know if it looks that great on my skin tone. So I'm super happy to get the wrong one. <laughs> that is really cute. And then we'll get into the star of the show, the washi. So uh, I would take them out. I'm sorry. A few other people have those. It's been out for a while. Oh, does that go that way? Um, yeah. So you get a whole bunch of sort of nude and rose gold um, pink sort of colors. Oh, why is my shut? It's like not working today but you get a whole bunch of vine and heart one here you get the um, scalloped ones uh, I think the scallop should probably go the top way but it's not packaged that way then you have a bunch of words here like follow your heart believe in magic then you have these bunny ones I think the bunny is called juniper so it's just a bunch of gold bunnies and then you have a flower with the tiny little heart specks of rose gold. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this set or not yet. Um, so I've kept them in the packaging, but we will see. I think it's really cute, but um, I don't know how much I'm going to get out of use out of it over the year. So, But that was the box. I do believe she is going to be putting bow washies in every box from now on. Um, so that'll be interesting. I like the sneak peek of the next one, so I'm looking forward to that. But that was the January box, and I would keep an eye out on her Facebook group and her Instagram of when she opens up slots, because they go pretty fast. The last order is another order of Little Miss Daisy Rose. If you've been watching my hauls for a while, you know it. She's my favorite clip maker. They have felt clip, but she uses... Pretty much all um, glitter felts, like vinyls, they're really smooth, soft. No glitter is going to come off. Or she's been using these holographic square sequiny ones now as well. They're also smooth. Or a mix of both, as in this one. Um, but I had to get uh, a bunch from her Valentine's Day release. Sometimes she's a bit behind. So of course I got these after Valentine's Day, but I really don't mind because I could use these year round. I pick more of the not so seasonal ones usually. Otherwise I just save them for next time. But this is the selection I bought this uh, go around and I've already got another order in because she brought out another great lot. So first we have this really cute girl and she has like a holo, she's glittery, but she has a holographic heart. Try and show it up close. You can see sort of that sort of squarish sequin panna, uh, pattern. But this girl is so adorable. I love how dainty she is. She just pink felt on the back so you can see how they're finished. Super durable. These aren't going to break on you. Um, so that girl, I got of course the Hello Kitty nerd one with the really pretty sequin bow. Of course I, got, I had to get the Frappuccino. I always pick up her seasonal Frappuccinos. And this has a really cute lot of hearts in the cream. Then I picked up this really adorable bow, holographic bow, with the heart in the center. So pretty. I love it. And then finally, I got the pizza box with a little pizza slice, and it comes with a cute little bow. So those were my Little Miss Daisy Rose Valentine's Day selection. Instead of verging on sticker and planner accessories, I got my Scribble Prince Co. TN birthday kit in the mail. So, so awesome. I love it. So let's get straight into it. I'll show you the, um, she's now selling like the pack and these stickers separately. So I picked up these stickers and if you didn't know, she sells them on moresbc.com and after release, she releases, re-releases about three times. So keep an eye on her Instagram to see when she does that. 
with a really nice pack so far. First we have in the stickers the little celebration scribblers that match. Really cute. Just a bunch of celebratory ones there with balloon, cake, present and champagne. Then you get this sheet of deco. I think a lot of these sheets, the idea is that you decorate with the sheet of stickers, so that's why I picked them up. They're so pretty, just all on their own. A great hoarder's uh, sheet as well, if you just want to keep the art. So that's a deco. Then you have a bunch of matching flags with little glitter spots, really cute. Also looks cute in the planner by itself. And then you have a bunch of um, tab labels because you do get tabs in the kit. And this has a really cute font. And you get this month, this week, list notes, today, projects, um, two blanks and a heart one. Really nice. So that was the sticker pack add-on. So then we're going to get into the pack itself. And she did make the papers extra big this time, but I think she's going to go back to a sort of happy medium size. The first set was like a B6 size paper, and I think she's going to go through, do a middle, just a bit bigger than that. Because the shipping was a bit of a kerfuffle for this, but I don't mind if um, you pay more for shipping or anything like that. So. But I think the new paper size will work all of that out. So let's find all the bits and pieces here. Oh, can't wait. I'm actually thinking of using this not for a birthday. <laughs> um, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> the first item here I'll show you just up close are the tabs. So you can just fold them over. They're double-sided so you can have one that's more patterned or less patterned, as you see there, really pretty. And they're just tabs that you just fold over your page like that and they stick out. And I would say just glue them with um, a glue tape roller, this is the one that I use. You can just undo it uh, to get them back off. So I really like those and they're the same cardboard I think as the papers, yes they are. So they're really durable in your planner. And of course then if you got the sticker pack you have the labels to go on them. So those are the tabs. And then next you get a whole bunch of vinyl sticker die cuts. So you can stick them down or you can, um, what I do if I don't want to stick them down is I use a bit of washi on the back like you know how you roll it over so you can stick it down so they can just easily pick it back up. But you have this little rosé bottle, these this bouquet of flowers, really pretty balloons with confetti in them, this um, happy birthday box, a little flower posy and a bow. Really cute, just great for decorating the TN or even just putting it into your spreads or anything like that. Then you get a bunch of journaling cards. So, because she includes a sneak peek of the next month's kit, you actually get an extra um, journaling card if you bought the previous one. So I bought roses and this was the um, preview of this kit. Um, so it says here that it's a preview. And so I can use this in this kit now um, because it goes with it. So goes this set of shoes from the last one. But what you get in here, and I'll leave the um, mystery clue to, of the next kit for last. But you have this cute little happy birthday babe box. So cute. I love the textures on this one. Then you have this little journaling card that says make a wish. You can see how it's smaller so you can stick it in the middle or use it around. It's really nice to have the different sizes. Then you have the Fashion Girl, and this is double-sided, so you can use um, the different skin tones. I'll probably use this one, actually. I think that she's super cute. And then you get one just with the pretty pattern there. So you can sort of like a layering piece. 
So you could do this one as a dashboard and then like put the shoes over. So you can see there and get the bottle, something like that, you know. Fun layering. So I love all the different sizes there. By getting the previous one, you have a second one of those. Um, so I'll show you the preview for the next one. I think a few people have shown it, but click or just jump ahead a few seconds um, in case you don't want to see the preview. But the next one, of course, is I guess it's a Harry Potter thing. Uh, and then finally we have the papers and I'll just zoom out to show you the size. Really neat, I think. So I've got in my dashboard here one of the old papers so you can see the size. This is the backing here. You see how I've layered, it, layered this. But that was pretty much the um, height folded over of the old, uh, the first paper. So you can see how much bigger it is. Um, so it'll fit in a lot bigger TN, but I think she is going to um, size it down because it does make it really expensive to ship. Just zoom in better for the light. But you get, oh, oh, you get vellum. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, and you get the vellum as well. So it's really nice, sturdy vellum, actually. Like, it's not too see-through, so you could easily make these into really fun dashboards by themselves and they won't get ruined in your planner which I feel like films sometimes do like they get bent at the corners this one's really nice the first one you get here are these bows so adorable so pretty I think we all love bows don't we and then the second one is the um, tassel banners so pretty this is a really nice vellum as well. So those are the two vellums as well. As the sort of cardboard papers, these are thicker. And they've got the satin sheen to them. They're really, really nice quality. You don't even have to put them in a dashboard if you don't want to. They're pretty sturdy. And you get, what, so the six? Yes, yeah, six. And they are double-sided. And you get two of the same, so you can use either side. And they're folded already in the middle, so you can just cut it down to size. Pretty easy. So the first one you have here are these really fun painterly squiggles on a um, marble background. And the other side are these roses, like the journaling card. This one is the squiggles again, but this time you have like sequin dots. Really pretty. And slightly different colors as well and then the back of this are the bows with another painterly and these sort of designs with sequins so cute so you get two of those then this one I love this one with the sort of paint strokes going across and then the back of this are the present boxes which are just gorgeous I love this paper so those are the papers included and I just think it is a gorgeous set. It was also a mystery kit that came um, to the shop so you can get a full sticker kit to go with this. But I just love this. I guess I'm probably not going to get the next kit. And I think it is really nice quality and it's not like it's coming to you every month. You can choose to buy it in the shop or not. And you can kind of limit how many TN kits you have because I had to cancel my subscriptions because I just didn't need them every single month. Um, I like I try to use my setups across multiple months, so this is really good. I I'm thinking about using it. I don't know when, because my birthday is Halloween time. And I'll probably have Halloween set up. We'll see. We'll see. But I love it. I so I had to get it. <laughs> So let's get into the stickers, shall we? First here I have the, uh, I don't know which month it is, um, but a mystery, the last mystery kit from Simply Watercolor Co. I subscribed to her mini foiled um, sticker subscription. So I'll show you here, I'm really excited to have my first one. But first you here, you have her big sampler just with some deck covers and other functional items in this really pretty gradient. 
Then it came with these, I haven't seen these before, I don't, like in other people's hauls, but maybe they were. But I got this set of uh, glitter, um, covered. <laughs> I got this set of glitter uh, headers, uh, which with foiled bows on them, so they are each a header like that. And so you get the, both the glitter and the foil bow, really pretty in gold. So interesting. I, I hadn't tried out these glitter bow headers before, so it be interesting to try them out. Then here we have the mini kit. It is three sheets and all four, like, um, I think oh my, only two of them are foil. Yeah. The first sheet we have here are the full boxes and for the checklist and here you can see the foil. Um, you have these in gold and then this one comes with blue uh, raindrops and I guess this is like a rainy spring kit but I think this would be, actually be perfect in winter here because our winter is like, it's rainy. <laughs> it's not entirely like, it's no snow or anything. It says, listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. Really pretty. But yeah, I thought this would be a perfect winter kit, actually, rather than a spring kit. Even though it does have florals, but there are winter florals, you know. And I really love these colors. They're really pretty and jewel-like, so it'd be a great soft winter kit. Then you get the bottom washi, which is just this gradient. Although... All the pink is in this washi strip. So you don't actually get any of the pink in the actual washi, but I guess that's okay. It's just, you know, <laughs> you're like, oh, I want that pink as well, but so it's mostly white. But I think it's like really soft and pretty, or you could just bring in um, some washi of your own. Then you have some uh, header sized uh, foiled patterns here, the roses at today and to do, and some foil deco there. I should say I am subscribed to the glossy, so this is all on glossy paper. This is really pretty. And then the final page is the sort of functional page. So you have the rest of your um, checklist. You have a habit tracker, um, a little appointment label, flags for the neutral, um, one checklist and one weekly checklist, a couple of sidebar headers, a whole, all the um, um, half boxes, some quarter labels and all quarter boxes and also this really pretty weekend banner that's super dainty. So that is the mini kit from Simply Watercolor Co. It's, I think it's just enough stuff really to get a really good spread out of it. You probably don't need much more for white space and you can bring in so much other stuff like foil things. So I'm really excited to try this out in winter and then of course you have the glitter headers which are super pretty. So I'm definitely going to have to work that into my schedule. I am I cancelled the subscription before I got this one but now I've gone ahead and re-signed up to get the next one because it's just too pretty and it's small and not too expensive which is awesome. But that was the Simply Watercolor Co monthly subscription. Now the last part of this haul are two Scribble Prints Co orders. I have opened up like the plastic but I haven't gone through these so let's get into them. The first order here yeah, this is the first order, so we'll look at the extras first. And Andrea was so sweet and included another little, like, Valentine's Day pouch. Oh, it's got my name on it and the really pretty, the washing vinyl, that's really cute. So let's open it up. See what, what is this? What could these be? It looks like a whole bunch of vinyl stickers, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> oh my god! Oh my... 
<laughs> oh my god, how many? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I now have a whole bunch of vinyl stickers of Andrea and Jeff. <laughs> These are hilarious. Oh my god, thank you, Andrea. <laughs> No, that's too funny. Those are so cute. <laughs> so as I'm sure uh, a lot of people have seen so far that I did a custom fashion girl for Jess and she also got one of Andrea and and now <laughs> I have my own vinyls of them. <laughs> that is just too cute. And some of them have red colors, which is so cute. What? I'll show you up close. <laughs> so now I can have them in my planet. <laughs> I just like stick them on things. And you could do like friend fiction if you know Bob's Burgers. No, I won't. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, oh, they're so cute though. They came out so well. Ah! <laughs> that is just too silly. Now I've got a whole bunch of those too. I'll have to keep those specially. Treat them with care. <laughs> That's too funny. Thank you, Andrea. And then she also gave me two of the TN die cuts that I drew as well. So pretty. I love them. I think this came out free with a bunch of orders, like 200 first orders. Uh, the week Marvelous came out, I think. Yeah. So you could, a bunch of people would have had these as well, but those are so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andrea. I have to be like, think of where to put you guys. Put them in like hilarious situations. Like Andrea and Jess travel Australia or something like that. <laughs> All right, let's get into the stickers. That's just hilarious. <laughs> um, but I got the journaling card. With the love, well, yeah, with love, with the love, with love, yep. <laughs> and I got the Scribbler freebie that's going around at the moment. Really cute and useful. And then I got the matching glitter headers for both of the kits that I bought. I, of course, I bought Wild and Free and the Bloom photo Photograph uh, kit. So let's get into those. I'll show you wild and free and I'll just go over what the kit looks like quickly in case you haven't seen them before. Uh, but here is the, this is the ultimate and you have the freebie. I just love these colours. I think I actually have to use this in April because these are such April colours. So cute. I love this new freebie. Can't wait to use it. Then you have the uh, flags up here, the deco, tons of little deco to decorate the top, uh, big icons, little matching scribblers as well as buy more, uh, flight tracker, happy mail, new releases, and the sort of council rescheduled nope stickers. Really cute. I love this color combo. We have the full heart checklist. Check boxes, I should say. The full boxes, this is wild and free. It's really fun um, patterns. And they have the little tent here and the lamp. And they just part of the girl here. Love that. Just be like a really pretty, um, you know, not too themed week, you know, because sometimes you get kind of caught up in themes. And this is just a fun. Uh, fresh kind of, uh, what am I trying to say? Just like a fresh lot of art just to have a nice week with, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying, but April is autumn here, but it probably won't be that, you know, our autumn year is pretty um, tame compared to some as all of our weather is. It's mostly just summer. Um, but you have the half uh, glitter half boxes, just all the pieces here. Ah, yes, and the new date covers. Did I have a kit with this already? I don't know. I can't remember what I have. <laughs> but you have the new date covers, so these are just cut out single. The strips are gone, and they have a really fun glitter outline and a really nice font. And then you have the double um, washi, bottom washi 
that's cut in the double and there's a bit of a white line space there. It's like as if you used two washi tapes basically. And it looks, I love this one, it's really pretty. And then an extra girl full box there. If you want to exchange them or use only girls, I love having the extra full box. So that is wild and free. I just like having the full boxes up. Really pretty. I love those colors. Love it. So it's, I just had to pick it up because I'm a sucker for the April kind of colors. I should say old April colors. So that's that one. And then I got the uh, Bloom mini kit, which is her first photograph kit. And Andrea is only bringing out her photograph kits as minis because it's a bit difficult to include these other pages, such as this one, when you don't have deco and also the washi is a lot harder to do as well, like the pattern washi. So they're better off being mini kits and I totally agree. And also just photograph kits just I think work better in that white spacey kind of feel. So first you have the typical freebie and she made this like a color theme. So you've got this gorgeous pink, really pretty. And then the full boxes. So you kind of have like this whole texture feel, which I really love. Instead of like a set of photos, uh, just making sort of a theme, these are like a texture. And you got bits of glitter as well, champagne glitter. And you have the lipstick and the ribbon, but then you have the texture of like the flowers and the balloons and fabric here. And yeah, just really cool fabric. I love this sweater as well. I think this could also be an anytime kit. I mean, you have the sweater, but you have the roses, but then you have the balloons. So I think this is a really good anytime kit. So those are the full boxes. Really pretty. I'm really not into photograph kits, but when she did a plan with me on it, I really liked the way it turned out. And I feel like it's got a different vibe. Then a lot of them, um, my main criticism of, like it's not criticism, but the main reason I don't really like photograph kits is that when the photos are put together and they're all stock images, right? I mean, that's how you buy photos commercially and legitimately. So they're stock photos and thus they're actually really made for um, marketing, uh, advertising, branding, just random websites, so they're super corporate to me. Like they just read corporate fakeness and that's just my way of, the way that I see them. Not everyone sees them that way. I totally understand if you love photograph kids, but I just feel like they're way too corporate for me in some sense. Just a weird difference in my mind about it. And so I can't really get into a lot of photograph kits because of that. But I liked how here she chose textures over, I don't know, scenes of things. I think I might like some Christmas photograph kits because I feel like Christmas is kind of that way anyway. But I liked how this was more textural. Uh, but that's just a little tangent. The next page of the kit. Uh, the headers, little things, half boxes, which are really pretty patterns of the full boxes, um, quarter label, quarter boxes, and appointment labels. Just a typical mini kit sheet. Then the other one of the mini kit, you have the, um, the functional page when they have the glitter splatters through the, um, the boxes here. Just really soft and simple. And then finally, she changed up the um, washi page for the uh, mini, for the photograph mini, because um, she didn't need to put deco or anything in here. So you have a little bit of pattern washi here, but then you get the date covers, which is awesome, as well as the two tiered um, bottom washi with really pretty uh, bows. And I love that. They are actually a photo of a bow, I think, which is cool. 
so it keeps with the whole theme. But that is the balloon kit, and she's already got another one out. I don't know if it's still in sh uh, the shop because it released on the weekend, but the next one is all purple, which is really awesome too. So I'm really looking forward to like all the color photo kits. <laughs> Bloom kit, and then you can see here the champagne glitter, gold glitter that goes with it. Really pretty and soft it'll be in the end. And the second order was just a little one for the monthly as well as some multicolor I wanted to pick up. So the multicolor, um, I just got the With Love card again. And the scribblet, um, the scribblet freebie, and I just picked up three sheets of the hydrate stickers in the current. Is it, is it summer multicolor or spring? I can't remember <laughs> what season the multicolor is in right now, but I picked up the hydrate stickers because I wanted to track more by my hydrate. I thought these would be perfect. You get two in each. Paid two of the same color on each page, so really for seven you only need like three sheets and then you get an extra one. But I thought this would be perfect just to put into my B6 just to keep an eye on my hydration because it's not too, um, they're pretty skinny and they will fit well in my on the go planner. So I just got the hydration stickers. And then I usually don't haul monthly kits. Um, I've got all of my months so far from come on, from Scribble Prince Co. But I usually just do those by myself. Most of the time, literally, they'll come in the mail and then I'll just get my planner out and put it in. <laughs> so that's why they never end up being hauled because I don't film or show them. But... I thought I'd show you April. I think she's changing up the format uh, in the next one. I'm not sure. I think she is. So um, I don't know if it's next month, but she is changing up the format. So here's the current format. You get the two little freebies that block out the days of the month that are not in the days that are not in the month. And it's just really pretty soft. Um, paper this month for April. I, I always love purple for April. So you have the two uh, covers for the top, some flags, as well as all the um, holidays put in from Erin Condren, as well as uh, my birthday and SBC for a year. Definitely putting that in. But isn't it also Andrea's birthday? I need to go back to that video and check the date because I totally didn't note it like an idiot. <laughs> Because I'm going to put her birthday in, but then it's going to also Jay, her birthday next month. I'll shut up. Anyway. <laughs> Everyone put your birthdays down below so I can put them in my planner. I just want birthday, everyone's birthdays in my planner. I'm, that, I'm totally that person who likes to know when everyone's birthdays are. So let me know down below and I'll put you in. Um, so the <laughs> next page is you get the date covers, so you get a pretty glittery font over the dates, um, a whole bunch of icons as well as many events. Now if you're old school SPC, you remember these from the monthly colors. And I like how she added them in. It gives me an extra payday, so I use these paydays for my Etsy payday, and the other paydays I'll show you I use for my uh, work paydays. But I really like them, so hopefully they're staying. But, you know, if they don't, I'll adapt. Then we have the four decorative boxes and the matching appointment labels to go with them. A little strip of washi here in case you need it. And the sidebar, which is a whole one sticker, which makes it a lot easier to put it down. For March, she, she did do a decorative sidebar, but she didn't do it one for this month. I assume she didn't have a good piece of art to put there but the next month May does and I've been buying them because I I can't be bothered filling all these out to be honest anymore um, but there you have the sidebar and then the final page 
get a whole bunch of appointment labels, vacation strips, which you made all the same size, which is awesome. You have Jews, so you can use these for bills, you can use them for assignments, a whole bunch of stuff. And here are those paydays that I use for my normal fortnightly paydays, and then headers for the sidebar. So that is the whole monthly kit. I pretty much only pick these up, only uh, Scribble Prints Co. I did it last year, but I think this year I want my planner to be a bit more... Um, I like my monthlies to be like all the same. That's how I feel like I want them to be. So that's why I'm just buying all of Scribble Prints clothes for the year. Uh, so that's the one for April. All right, I won't do a big collection right now, but that is the end of the haul. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more hauls. And I will see you next time. Bye.